Hi YouTube, this is Sandra, aka Simply Love. Why is it simply love? Because love is all there is and love is all there ever be. Now I'm coming to do March 2015 reading for Gemini. Hi Geminis, I love you guys. You are all so sweet. Well, before I begin, I just want to say, you know, keep in mind, these are just general readings. It doesn't pertain to every Gemini out there. So, you know, just keep that in mind. There may be bits and pieces of this puzzle coming out to some of you, these messages. I get my messages from the Most High God. I always pray over the cards and he sends me the angels and he just gives me the messages. I don't do no kind of astrology. You know, so don't ask me nothing about astrology, about the houses and the stars and what house you should be in or the second house or the third house between the stars and the moon and the sun and the, you know, all that stuff. I don't get it and, and I don't do it. I, I just, you know, I'm simply love. I make it simple and out of love and that's it. Okay. <laughs> Saying that, um. I'm going to go ahead and go forward with the reading. Also want to let y'all know that today was the day for the winners now for the contest for the necklace and the reading. So you might want to check that out and, you know, see if, um, see if you may be the one who, who won. Okay. The video is up and out, you know, you want to go there and check that out. And I'm also going to be doing other things. It's going to be more of that contest, me giving things, you know, everything is going to be different. Um, so, you know, just keep your eyes open for, for if you're subscribed to me, you'll be getting, you know, getting the messages in your email and keep your eyes out for those because all that does is really make us all come together. That's what I, that's, that's what I'm dream. My dream is, you know, a lot of people coming together in love and expressing themselves talking about their situations or talking about past situations or things you have overcome because certain things you put down may help uh, resonate with someone else that comes in to make a comment and you might make a big difference in their life. So it's all about love. That's all it is. It's all about love. And that's what we, this world needs now is love, sweet love. That is my motto, love. <laughs> With that said, Gemini, this is your reading. Now, this is just for some Geminis out there, okay? Um, and this is for March 20, 2015, maybe moving on further a little that, or it may even, you know, be starting, you know, as of now. But the messages I'm getting, and this right here is the, the Queen of, of Rods here this young lady dressed up all beautiful and everything um she is a fire sign she i'm sorry something scratch my i love y'all know i like to wear my hats and stuff so start itching up there a little bit <laughs> okay so yeah she's a she's a fire sign which means she could be a uh, Leo, a Aries, or a Sagittarius. Yeah, yeah, she could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or just some woman, or it could be you. But being, I'm just going by, you know, the the what the card represents as far as it being a, 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 a astrological sign. It she is a fire sign. Um, she has a lot of good qualities. She's on top of things. She does a, a, a million things at one time. She's she's all over the place. Um, she's very helpful. Um, she can get, um, she can, you know, she can multitask really well. And she's one of those type of people that can um, uh, put, you know, uh, interior decorator or you know whatever it is she has some kind of craft that she can do a little bit of everything she's got her hands in just about everything you know it sounds like 
a Gemini to me. You know, it does sound like a Gemini, but it's not. It is a, a air a air sign. I'm sorry, she's a she's a a fire sign. So that's Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius woman. But then on the other hand of this this woman here, she can get clingy. Uh, you know, she can be like clingy, nosy. If you uh, if you kind of like tell her that you know you know maybe I don't feel like seeing you today, she might get a little you know, a little attitude about that because she's just like, she's the type to just like, like to be around when she wants to be around, like, you know, kind of take over the show. She's one of those type of women, but you know, good hearted, good spirited. She's very giving, but, uh, she can be a little bit pushy and she has a little catty attitude to where she may can get, she's the type that might can get a little jealous, because she kind of looks at things like she can do it all. And she's the one that wants all the praise and the glory. And uh, if, if you kind of come against that with her or, or tell her, you know, <clears throat> you know, maybe I don't, maybe I don't want you to visit today. You know, I got things I, I got to do or something. She might, she might get highly upset about that. That's on her flip side. She can, she can turn into this, this, person like like maybe that has two personalities actually you can you know you can see her at one point as her being a real good person and somebody you can depend on and she runs around all the time doing all kind of stuff she you know you know a lot of the times you might find her if she has an office or in an office type environment that her office is like junky or looks like it's out of place but if something get moved she gonna she gonna know where what it was and where it was missing even though it looks junky in there she's just that type of person but she does a lot she's all over the place but like i said the flip side she can get kind of clingy and you know kind of get hard to get rid of her and you know can't get her to shut her mouth sometimes and she'll be in your business maybe too much you know um and she can get catty behind your back she can be a backstabber this person whoever she is she's around uh, a, a lot of you gemini women she comes across around a lot of you gemini women and i think she's and i think to some of you gemini she's kind of getting on your nerves you know, she's kind of nerve wracking to you, you know, at first it seemed to be like she's okay, but then she's, you know, start wigging, start wigging out a lot, like, cause she wants, you know, full control and it's not even, you know, really basically it's none of her business or none of her situation. And to some of you Gemini's, uh, out there, she don't, you, you guys don't even ask her to come around. She just comes around. She's just like always appearing or something. That's a lot what I'm getting out of some messages about you, Gemini. It's like you, you're really trying to get rid of her. She could be <laughs> she could be someone's um, mother-in-law, mother, sister, cousin, uh, best of friend. I'm feeling in that area for a lot of Gemini's, you know, you kind of with her, you, you, you just, you know, you just got to take her so far and then let her go. Cause if you let her take over, you know, she just thinks she's got it like that. And you just going to be hard to get rid of her. And then that's when the flip side going to come out of her. She's going to flip on you. You know, you're going to see a different side of her far as she concerned and she's around a lot of you gemini's i feel that way this person this woman and it could also be a man too this person could be a man with the same traits that i just talked about um the second card i got here is um the six of swords here and what the messages i'm getting from that is that some of you gemini's want to want to get out of the story this stormy little weather that you're going through now you're going it seems like you're going through like some in and out some ups and downs uh uh it seems like you are looking for something and um it's a little stormy for you it's like 
You're, do, you're doing a lot too. It's like you're trying to put something together. You're trying to put something together and, per, and, 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 and make it perfect. And some of you Geminis act, are out there thinking that or wanting to move. You wanting to get out and go somewhere else, which is possible for you to do if you want to do it. Stop thinking about it all the time. Stop whining and complaining about it. I'm just going to keep it real. This is what I'm feeling, what I'm getting. And just go ahead and make that move if that's what you want to do. If it's going to make your life a lot better and you know you feel a lot better in a new atmosphere, I think that you should go ahead and make that move because what I'm feeling is that right now you're on, you're, you're okay with yourself and things like that, but it to me, I'm picking up there's a lot of people around you, like maybe relatives or friends or something like that. I'm getting kind of like a lot of Gemini's is like family members, like nosy in, in your business, um, always got something to say or always needing something I'm picking up from because you, you Gemini's are generous people. And it seems like there's people around you that are, are taking advantage of you. That's just some of you Gemini's. I'm not saying all of you, but I'm feeling a great deal of this going on. And you actually, you're, you, wherever it is, you're around these people and you want to move. You want to get out. To, if that's what you want to do, if you can do it, I suggest you do it. Because all this is doing to a lot of you Gemini's is making you miserable. You're very miserable because of the of their actions and the way that they're treating you and you know all kind of different things coming from you when you're trying to achieve something. I feel like a lot of you Gemini's are trying to achieve something. And this is this is weird about Gemini's for some reason. I think I've done this in a video a while back when I was outside. But I'm getting, um, I, I keep getting a message from like an angel around some of you Geminis that are going to be watching this video. And it's from the other side. And this person who passed is, is just like he's, it's like a, it's a man. And he keeps going like, um, to, to tell you to be free. Um, and uh uh let him go is what they're saying they're saying be free and let him go he's saying that you won't let him go and he said that to tell you that you you uh he's always with you in spirit he's an angel now he's on the other side he's spirit He's still aware of you. He's still aware of your surroundings. He's protecting you right now. He's still here, but he's in spirit now. He's just a, a he's just an angel now. That's all. He he said to tell you that he is fine. He says to tell you um um to stop worrying. He said he wants you to be happy. He wants you to be happy and he wants you to move on. If you want to move, to move on, that he's he's still going to be right there. Wherever you go, he can be there. And he's looking down on you and he's talking about some kids too. He's talking about some kids that he's really, really watching over. So he's saying for you to stop worrying and that if you move on or move somewhere, you're not going to lose him. He's still going to be in your in, in your mind, body, and spirit. He's always a part of you, he said. He said to tell you that he is fine. He is doing great, but he don't want you to keep worrying about him or crying about him. This is for a few Geminis who ever watching this. This is what I'm getting in very heavily. Um, he says to stop uh, seeking answers from a whole lot of people or something, whatever that means. Only you would know what that means. And, you know, comment if you can to let me know. He's just saying stop uh, seeking a whole bunch of people for answers or something like that. 
and he's all right. He just wants you to know that. And, and it's okay to move forward. It's okay to, if you feel like moving somewhere, he say, feel like you're being stuck because, because of him. And he don't want you to feel that way because he's free and he's free to go and do whatever he wants to do. So wherever you go, he's going to be there too. So don't feel like you don't want to leave because of him passing over. Okay, Gemini, some of you Gemini's out there, let me know if that resonates to you. And that was just something that just hit me just like that. So I had to say it. Okay, now moving forward, like I said, to some of you Gemini's, you want to make that move. You know, you want to make that move. I say do it. Go ahead on and go. And it looks like if you do move forward, things will smooth out for you where these rough edges are. And I'm also seeing for some of you Geminis that may either make make a move or have made a move already that you're going to run into a relationship. If it's not a relationship, I think this came up in somebody else's reading I did today too. If it's not a relationship, it's going to be a partnership with some type of business. So you making this move is going to be for the better for you. Some of you Gemini's out there that are entrepreneurs, I'm getting entrepreneurship. And I'm getting like, if you make this move to somewhere else, I don't know where they're not giving me any specifics, but somewhere. And I think it's near water or something that you are going to establish a partner, a good partnership with someone and it's either going to be in business or romance you're going to run into this partnership man or woman like i said it could be business or it could be romantic that's what's coming up for you gemini if you make that move you got to make that move in order for this to come about because it, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning a lot on a lot of Gemini's it being a, a business partnership. But then again, I'm feeling a leaning a lot on it being a relationship too, a good relationship, a nice relationship. It's like, you know, it's, it's just that time for some of you Gemini's got to get out. You got to get out there and stop being stagnant. And for whoever this man that crossed over that was was talking through me to you, uh, it, you go ahead and, and take heed to what he's saying, because I feel like there, uh, you know, there's a lot of Gemini's out there just being stagnant and stuck because of a situation that happened. And they're afraid if they leave, they might leave that person who passed, but it's, it's, that's not the, that's not it. They're going to be wherever you go. They're going to be, but they still want you to be happy. When it comes to the physical world, they still want someone around you. And that doesn't mean that they're going to leave you. They're still going to be around you, watching over you. And they keep talking about these kids too. Okay, now, um, uh, what I'm seeing coming towards the end of, of uh, March, maybe going further in as you make this business connection or this romance connection after this, you know, move for some of you Gemini's out there that's planning on moving away from this person right here that gets on your nerves or something's going on with her or something, being a nag or something. Uh, um, the five of rods showing me, um, you know, like, meeting new people, maybe some like getting out and knowing different people or it for some of you Gemini's, it can mean like you might be in an area where there's going to be uh, uh, some competition. It's, you know, like you may move from a, like a small town area to a city and, you know, in the city, there's more going on than there is uh, in the country. So if you do end up in a city area, what you're doing and you're going to be noticing a lot more things than just b being country areas. So to you, it's going to be considered competition. If it's a business venture, if it's an entrepreneurship, but you know, don't pay that no attention. You just keep on doing your thing, doing what you do best because 
God gave us all something, each and every one of us, something different that is that nobody else can do. So you just keep doing your thing and don't worry about the competition wherever you move at because it just, it don't matter. You got your thing. That's what you do and just keep on doing it and don't worry about this. If it's, if it's a, if it's a, if it's a business venture, if it's a, if it's um, a romantic venture or friendship or relative type uh, situation, you know, it could be where you're, some of you Gemini's may be, you know, coming across some relatives and, you know, you get, you haven't seen each other in a while. And it's like a lot of playful playing around, like a lot of, you know, you know, going to the bar and talking stuff and, you know, how they light, light a lighter, and put their hand, you know, doing ridiculous stuff like that. Friendly competition, you know, things like that. You might experience new friends, uh, in this area and, um, and then really liking you, you know, really kind of taking on this new place really, really well with, with getting to know, you know, different people and, and, uh, and, and establishing friendships for whether it's a uh, romantic, you know, or whether it's, you know, it could be this person here that you hook up with. If it's romantic, you know, you might meet them at a bar or a place of uh, a restaurant somewhere where they sit around and, you know, enjoy the games and things like this. This is where you might meet this person who, you know, it can go any, any scenario, uh, Gemini, but, but, uh, um, if you, if you want to make that move, some of you Gemini's out there that I'm feeling a lot of y'all is, and I'm feeling a whole lot of entrepreneurship, like you're doing a whole bunch of stuff for yourself. You're trying to get some kind of business rolling. This would be a good move, but they're also saying, don't worry about the competition because I think it's going to be in a city type area where there's a lot more people doing a lot of things. And I think at first it's going to intimidate you because you really, you you, it, it seems like a lot of you that's going to come move are coming from a small area, but they're saying, don't worry about the competition, you know, because you just keep on doing you you're still going to do well, Gemini. You don't have nothing to worry about. Don't worry about this competition. Or if it's romantic or, you know, some kind of endeavor like that, it's just you meeting, you know, new people and they're kind of like getting, you, you know, maybe talking to you and telling you a lot of things about the area, telling, meeting new people, you know, having fun, a new place to a place that you can go to and feel comfortable, uh, with these people. So everything looks pretty good for you, Gemini. Um, now what I'm going to do is give you a reading from, uh, Archangel Raphael. He wants to have something to say with, you know, that's going to sum up this whole thing here for you. So what they're saying is, they want you Gemini's to consult with a nutrition, a nutritionist. That's what, you know, Archangel Raphael is saying. They want you to seek a nutritionist. Maybe, you know, with the stressful times and things, you're maybe you've been eating, you know, not eating properly, you know, maybe not cooking full meals. I'm getting from some of you Gemini's, you just you know, grabbing a bag of chips here, eating it or, or grabbing something that's already done or McDonald's or something like that. And it may be draining some of you Gemini's energy. It may be putting your energy down or putting you in a different or making you feel uh, heavy or bloated. So they want you to seek a nutritionist so you can get that in control for some of you Gemini's. I'm not saying all, but y'all move around and you got a lot of things to do and you could just be nibbling on junk food all day long and it's, it may cause you to feel bloated or cause you to feel like you're slowing down or, you know, maybe feeling slow down. So, you know, seek a nutritionist. You can even go online and, you know, and, and, and get um, a nutritionist, um, uh, uh, 
chart that they'll actually tell you what how what you can eat and everything to strengthen you and make you feel you know more healthier more healthier foods that you can maybe make as instead of picking up junk food here and there you can pick up grapes bananas there's stuff you can uh, like I do I um I have a um uh, a bullet and you know I have the bananas strawberries blueberries and orange juice and I mix all that together mm, so good but the only thing I did wrong I put whipped cream on top of it but oh boy that's not going to hurt too much is it <laughs> I hope not. I had to have something on top, but they are really good. The strawberry, um, the strawberries, the blueberries and bananas and some orange juice and you put it in the bullet and mix it. It is just delicious. And you know, then I, like I said, I put my little whipped cream on top of it just, just to have a little sweetness, sweetness to it. But anyway, that's it for that, Gemini. Uh, I hope it resonated to some of you. I hope it made sense to some of you. Um, if you'd like to have a private reading with me to see where this thing right here is going, you know, further into the future or, you know, just give me a, you know, down below, you'll see my information. You can contact me and I'll definitely, you know, set up an appointment for you and we will look into this. So everything looks pretty good. I hope the angel message uh, came through clear to whoever was supposed to hear that. Whoever's supposed to hear that message is going to hear it because this person came in knowing that I would uh, be used to deliver that message to whoever it may be one it could be five it could be 20 I don't know but whoever you are if you come across you're going to come across this video you're going to understand what the message was from this person that crossed over that was delivering to some of you Gemini's out there and I'd like to get your feedback on that other than that, everything is 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 okay. I want to thank you for stopping by my channel. I'm thanking you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting and liking. I really, really appreciate you guys. And I, and I love you so much. And that's why I'm here. And I hope my service is of help to you. And with that saying, I'm going to say it again with me. Come on. Love is all there is, and love is all there ever be. You guys take care, and I love you. Bye-bye.